Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. It's actually not morning, it's afternoon. But are we surprised at this point? I don't think so. Um, but I've just been spending the past probably hour or so cleaning after lunch. I had my lunch right around noon and then I just kind of got in a cleaning mode probably because I've been so lazy lately. Um, I finally decided to get up and do something. Surprise, surprise. So um, there's actually not a lot to clean because I cleaned the other night. But there are a few dishes and I did wipe down the kitchen countertops and stuff. And then every once in a while we wipe down our wooden um, end tables that our, my mother-in-law and father-in-law got for us. They are wood, so if you, they're like real wood. So you have to like care for them, you know, carefully. You can't just clean them with like any old spray or whatever. So um, we picked up this old English lemon oil um, and it's for wood care furniture um stuff so you just put a little of that on a rag and you go there's a certain way you're supposed to wipe it down i think but um yeah along the grain of the wood so yeah i always forget but i'm gonna wipe down those they are pretty dirty right now they could use a good old washing down you know so that's what i'm fixing to do but i just wanted to start the vlog let y'all know what I'm up to. Um, we're supposed to get an exciting package today. I can't wait for it to come in. But I hope it comes in when Justin's here. Or not too long before he gets here. Because I want to open it myself. <laughs> um, if you... Well, I don't think we actually talked about it. But if you don't know, um, I watch KK and Baby J, um, Karen and Qua and their kids. And then Justin is obsessed with Dragon Ball Z, as you guys probably know. And so, I watched one of Qua's videos. Um, he has like a separate channel. And he was talking about how his friends with the people that own Super Saiyan, which is like a pho um, restaurant in, I think it's Orlando, Florida. Or some, it's somewhere near there. And um, Justin's always like seen pictures of it and stuff. And he's always wanted to go. Um, but, of course, it's in Florida. And... We've never been anywhere but Texas and Oklahoma, and I've been to Colorado a couple times, and you know, it's just, we haven't traveled much in our life, unfortunately, but um, one day we will get there. We will go, uh, hopefully. Anyway, so Quad did a video talking about how his friends at Super Saiyan were doing a subscription box, and he got one, and he was opening it and showing what you could get in it and stuff, and it was all Dragon Ball related, and so I was like, I have to get that for Justin. Well, this was October 1st when we ordered it, and um, they did say it was a pre-order, so we knew it would take like a month or so to get it, but it's still, they just shipped it like, I think Christmas Eve, and we're supposed to get it today, so we've been waiting for so, so long, and I'm so excited to get it. I can't wait to show you guys um, when it comes in, and I can't wait to see Justin's reaction when it comes in. He knows about it and everything, but um, I thought it would be a really cool surprise. A really cool thing to give to him because he is obsessed with mostly Vegeta, but Dragon Ball in general. Um, I don't really get into it, but I think it's neat and, um, you know, he really likes it. So I like to support the things that he likes. So it's going to be really cool when it comes in and we get to open it and see what's in it. But anyway, oh, they also have like a golden ticket, kind of like Willy Wonka thing. But everybody gets one and I think you fill it out and send it back or something like that and they do a random drawing. And whoever wins gets, they have like a life-size Vegeta, um, like statue thing that's worth like $5,000 that they're giving away. And that'd be so cool, right? We could put it where our Christmas tree goes when we take it down. No, but um, that would be really cool for him to win. So we're, you know, we're hoping we get that as well. But anyway, I am going to continue cleaning. I just wanted to chat with you guys. I feel like we haven't really just chatted in a while, you know? Or maybe we have, and I just like to talk so much that that's my excuse so that I can talk even more. So I know I forgot to show you guys a before, but look how brand new that looks after you wipe it down with like the oil that it's supposed to be cleaned with. It looks brand new, so fresh and clean, and it even smells good because it's lemon scented, so I love it. Righty righty, we are just, just got home and we figured we would go out and get a Powerball ticket because if you guys haven't been paying attention, the Powerball is up to like 370 million or maybe more, I don't even know. Um, and then the Mega Millions is up to over 400 million, so worth a shot, you know, it's very, very rare that you would win it, like extremely rare, 
but somebody's gonna win it eventually so why not you you know um so we're picking up a ticket justin went in to get one and um we don't really have any other plans that's just what we're doing right now i think we need to get some tea actually because justin's almost out of his sweet tea y'all know justin loves his drinks he's got to have his milo sweet tea and his dr pepper every single day or he just can't survive you know this old man is getting gas next to me and he's probably thinking why the hell is this lady talking to her phone that's why i kind of look uncomfortable right now it's because he was literally staring at me we got home and i was just gonna start dinner but we got a package it's the package that i was telling you guys about earlier uh, so Justin's gonna open it and we want to film it, but you can go ahead and open it so they don't see our address Oh my gosh, like it says this box is over 9,000 on the flat. I don't know what that means, but I know it's something to do with Dragon Ball did you Cool, look pop, at this <gasps> You did get a pop. Bidera. It's not the one I got you, is it? No. Oh, it's a different character. Cool okay, What else what we did got. we get? Yan Yan Vanilla Cream Cracker stick with dip. Huh. Neat. Oh, you got a ramen. That's cool. Sorry, uh, I'm getting ahead of you. <laughs> uh, big roll grilled seaweed roll. I've had seaweed before. Uh, I, really I don't like think it, I like so it not either. I probably like that, but we're going to try <laughs> Cool. An energy drink. Dragon Ball Z energy drink. Warrior power. And it's got a uh, piccolo on the front. Oh, that's cool. I'll try that. What? Pokemon? Oh, little cool. Pokemon keychain. It's got a, looks like, <laughs> this is like the Igglypuff or it's, yeah, it's like the, the baby little, ones. Yeah, and then the Togepi and then the Clefairy is like baby one. Mm -hmm. I can't remember those names. <laughs> what is it? It's a blue dragon ball. Oh, that's cool. It's got the star in it. I don't know if you guys can see. That is really cool. It's mm. like hard plastic. Four star Dragon Ball. Ooh. Justin's got the tattoo. <laughs> uh, we'll open this here in a second. I don't know what it's. There's something. This is it. like. I thought it was a bouncy ball, but it's like a hard, hard yeah. thing. I don't want it to fall. A uh, pop. <gasps> cool. Dragon Ball pop. Super Saiyan. Oh, it says Super Saiyan on it. That's cool. That's cool. Th this was $30, by the way, if you're curious. I think they're going to be doing more, but I think they got overwhelmed. They didn't expect to get so many orders or something at first, so. They haven't done any since October, but I think they're going to continue to do one. This, I don't know really what for sure this is. Hero Sours, uh, strawberry lemonade flavored candy. That's and cool. It's um, My Hero Academy. Hmm. Hillary knows what this is. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. She was saying that she, she watches them. Oh, yeah. Hillary is our sister-in-law, if you don't know. <gasps> what is that? What? That's cool. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> And it's got this little cat. I can't remember what his name is. Sinzu beans. But these are sinzu beans. Oh, what's and that? Sinzu bean is like um, if they're like about to die or like they're like low on energy or whatever. Mm -hmm. They take a sinzu bean and it like fully restores their power and heals them. Dang. And everything. So you about to be powerful. <laughs> <laughs> then we got uh oh my god that is so cool uh Super Saiyan Asian Noodle Bar keychain. Cool. So this is the company that is doing this. You guys should look them up on Facebook, or not Facebook, well you can look on their Facebook, but just Google them and you'll see all their Super Saiyan stuff. Like their whole shop is decked out in Dragon Ball Z stuff, so it's really cool. Uh, so this is, I don't know, I'm not even going to try to butcher the name because I don't know how to like speak. It's Bulldog? Korean, Korean <laughs> I guess is what it says because it's made in Korea. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, hot, hot chicken. chicken flavored ramen. Ooh, I bet that's good. Justin doesn't like spicy, but I love, you I know, love ramen. yeah, ramen. you guys know those, um, it, it's just like that. It's ramen in a bowl that you like just put water in or whatever, just like that. And it's the spicy chicken one. I get that one every once in a while and it's pretty good. And I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of ramen in general, but like spicy ramen I like. What else did you get? What? I hope this isn't true because I'm going to get really pissed. But okay, so they put these golden tickets. <laughs> yeah. In I was telling them that. There. So, but it says date January 1st. Yeah, but I think that they were hoping to have them shipped out way sooner. Um, but you're supposed to put your contact info on there and then send and it, then back, send to it them. back to them. Yeah. And you can win the I want to keep the golden ticket though. That's so cool. <laughs> it is really cool. 
Maybe you can request them to send it back. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but that's how you can win the Vegeta statue that I was telling you guys about. You turn that in and then they randomly draw. And then also, you got a Pokemon card? They taped a Pokemon card to it. Huh. I'm trying to get it off without messing up the ticket. See, they most like Pokemon too. Pokemon and Dragon Ball. They're kind of hand in hand, sort of. Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, uh, Galarian Surfetched B. Hmm. Neat. Oh, it's little candies. Oh, like little stars. Oh, oh shit. it's opened. Whoops. It's got a hole in it. It's a little star. Oh, that sounded hard. It's like a nerd or something. Is what it kind of... The consistency of Dragon it is. Ball star candy. Hmm. Oh, those look similar. This is supposed to be strawberry lemonade. Hmm. This star didn't have a whole lot of taste to it. It did, but yeah, it wasn't like super flavorful. It was like... Just kind of sour. Yeah. Like, not a lot of taste to that one either. Not crazy. Oh, interesting. Got little sticks. Was it like yogurt or icing or something? Squid. Oh, vanilla cream. Black it's probably tastes meat. like icing. Oh, thanks. Frog rivet. There's like no sweetness to it at all. It's like I was expecting like the texture yeah. when it, as soon as the texture hit my mouth, I was thinking like icing, icing, mm -hmm. like so it's gonna be sweet, but it's not. Yeah, it has like no sweetness to it. Are you gonna try that or no? It says it's clam flavored. I do not like sushi and like any type of anything like that. Like let's we'll try this since before we run our taste buds. Taste buds yeah. I don't like, um, I like, it's weird because I like Chinese food and Japanese food and um, Thai food and stuff like that that we've had, but we usually keep it simple <laughs> with stuff that we try. And I, I don't like, like, the biggest, like, seafood thing I'll eat is shrimp, and I barely eat that. Um, I don't like crab, I don't like lobster, I don't like nothing like that. Not at all. I hate fish, fishy tasting foods. Could you a sensei bean? I'm about to get so powerful right now. Let me show you what that looks like. Ow, it's hard. Yeah, I'm not going to try to chew mine because it's, it feels like it's super hard. Those are good. It tastes like, I don't know, just sour. Like green apple or something, yeah. maybe. It stinks. What the heck? <laughs> are you going to try it? <laughs> this is going to be a long video of us just, just trying weird things. <laughs> So far, I like the those sensu beans or whatever you call them. This was not bad. It just was kind of weird. It was like bitter instead of sweet. But um, Justin said that candy in... Japanese candy usually isn't sweet. For yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad I did not try that. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're back. Justin's okay now. <laughs> but, um... I just wanted to say that we're excited that we got that. It was really cool. Um, if they end up doing another one, we'll let you guys know in case anybody's interested in getting one. But, um, I yeah. I don't know. I don't want one. You don't know if you want another one? Yeah. I might just get it and then keep the stuff that came in it and not open it. Yeah. Um, it's cold, but I was thinking I should put it in the fridge. Before you try it. it. Yeah. Cooler and then try it. But Warrior power. I'll tell you uh, how it tastes. Yeah. Well, good morning, guys. It is the next day, and um, yeah, we opened up our box, as you guys saw, our package, and then we had dinner. I just made... Justin loves hamburger steaks and gravy, but I don't love cooking them all the time. So one thing that I've found that is similar to hamburger steaks and gravy, but doesn't take quite as long to make, is I will make some rice. And then I will make some hamburger meat with some um, bell peppers and onions. Um, and then I'll make the gravy. 
and like ground meat, ground hamburger. And I will put a little bit of rice, the hamburger and veggies on top of that, and then a little bit of gravy on top of that. So that's what we had for dinner, and he likes it almost as much as um, hamburger steaks. I think it, you know, solves his craving for a little while anyway. But that's what we had for dinner, and then Justin literally fell asleep last night at like, I want to say 7 o'clock. And he slept all night long. So I think he was really, really tired. He usually goes to bed at like 1030, but he's been staying up till almost 1130 for the past, this whole week. So I'm pretty sure that's what's making him tired. Plus he's been helping me a lot with the blankets lately and stuff. So uh, I think it's just a combination of things that made him tired, but he definitely caught up on sleep last night. So anyways, I have been pretty lazy this morning. I finally got my butt up, took a shower and had my lunch. And now it is, I think, almost one, almost one, and I need to get busy doing something. So I'm going to put the border on this blanket that I did not do last night. Um, I did close the hole. It's about as far as I got. So um, now I need to put the border on it. But yeah, I just thought I would update you guys since we kind of just stopped filming yesterday. It's because Justin went to sleep and I did not want to wake him up or anything like that because I know he's been so tired. But anyway, happy New Year's guys. It is New Year's Day um, by the time you're watching this and I hope you guys have an amazing year. I hope you set some goals and I hope you, you know, manifest some positive things in your life, you know. Um, whatever you want in life, just ask for it and work for it and you can achieve it. It's definitely, definitely possible. Um, Dustin and I are going to work even harder on our blanket stuff. It would be amazing to have this be like our full-time job someday. Um, and me and Justin have always just wanted to, especially the past few years, we've been really, really wanting to start a business together, one that we can work together at and be successful at. And, you know, that way neither one of us have to have like a real job. We would just work for ourselves and stuff. So that's our goal. <laughs> That's our goal every year, and one year we will get there, I, I promise. So set yourself some goals, guys, and work really hard this year, and go after what you want, you know? Nobody can tell you you can't do something, except for yourself, I guess. If you tell yourself you can't do something, then you probably can't. That's why you have to be positive and, you know, positive vibes only. Tell yourself you can do it, and you're gonna do it, and work towards it, and you'll get there, okay? Let's remember that. But yeah, I'm going to work on this blanket and shut my mouth for a little bit. Oh, my back is killing me. Uh, so, since this blanket is so dang thick, like, can you guys see how thick that baby is? It has taken me, what time did I say I started sewing this blanket? Like, a little after 12? It's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock! So, I've been working on this for at least two and a half hours, and um, it's finally done. And I am excited. All right, here's dinner. We got some ribeyes that we found at Walmart for like 12 bucks and they're huge. Like this is half of mine. The other half's still over there. Um, I'm gonna have that one tomorrow probably. But we got some salad. Uh, we just, Justin's getting all kinds of goodies on his, but I just wanted some carrots and a couple pieces of onion. I'm not big on onion on salad, but I'll eat a little bit. And then these potato wedges that I made, you just toss them in oil and put some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. That's all I did. And it, they're so, so good. So it's been quite a while. Um, we had our dinner and mom had a little get together at her house, but we didn't feel like going because Justin, um, he's on call all weekend. Like I was, I think I told you guys that earlier and he does have a couple things he has to do tomorrow for work. So, um, he's got to get up at like nine. So we weren't going to do anything for New Year's Eve or anything, but they called us like saying, please come over. And they were bugging us to come over because, you know, we're the cool kids of the family, mm. you know. Um, so we ended up going over there and I didn't film because it was just constant music playing and, you know, we were loud and having fun. Nobody drank or anything. I think my mom had a few drinks. I think Macy drank one something and Hillary, um, but Justin works tomorrow, so he didn't sip on anything. Um, and I just don't like to drink, so I didn't drink anything either, but we had fun. We watched Post Malone. He was on Bud Light, uh, BudLight.com slash NYE. They were doing like a, kind of like a concert. There was different people singing, but we were just there for Post Malone. He had so much fun. You could tell he loves to perform. Like he was having so much fun on the stage and that's what I love about him. He just has, he just has no cares in the world. Like he just 
chills and has so much fun doing what he loves. So it was fun to watch. It sounded good. Like every, most everybody else's stuff, or not most everybody, some people's stuff yeah. sounded um, lip sync. Mm -hmm. but... Yeah, but he sang it. He did it. He was singing rock songs and everything. He has, he loves rock. Like he was just having a good old time. It was fun to watch. But yeah, we watched that until New Year's. And then we screamed Happy New Year. So Happy New Year to you guys. We hope that you, all your dreams come true this year, huh? Yeah. Go after what you want. I, I already talked about that earlier, but you know, you got to go after what you want in life. Life is short and you never know when your last day is going to be. So might as well live it how you want to live it, you know? But anyway, it is after midnight. And like I said, Justin does have to go to work tomorrow. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I don't think there was a lot going on in this video, but I think it was pretty long because we filmed our little Super Saiyan unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.